Joining us now is CBS News legal analyst Jack Ford. Jack, good morning. Good to see you, Harry. Former prosecutor, five capital uh, murder cases that yeah. you uh, prosecuted in, in your history. People don't realize those crime scene photos, unlike any video, unlike any movie you would ever see, brings you absolutely to that scene, and you know why those people broke down in and, tears. Uh, and oftentimes, that's one of the difficult, most difficult chores for a judge in a trial to deal with, those gruesome photographs. There's, there's a test that the judge has to follow. It's a balancing test, and they're told to, to determine whether or not the probative value, what this adds to the case. Right outweighs the prejudicial impact that it's going to have. And, and oftentimes, for instance, you'll see the defense say, with regard to autopsy photos or mm -hmm. crime scene photos, they'll say, here's what we'll do. We're not going to contest that the person died of a gunshot wound, right. for instance, to try to keep them out of the case. Mm -hmm. But here, because this is a death penalty case, there are other elements. It's not just, did they indeed cause the death here? Right. But if they did, if they're guilty, did they get the death penalty? And one of the factors here is, was this a particularly cruel and heinous mm -hmm. murder, which would make them eligible for the death penalty. That's why the jury sees these things. Well, there sure is a preponderance of evidence in this case. And you look at that videotape, the surveillance tape, of this poor mother pleading mm -hmm. to the bank teller to say, I need this money. You've got to tell the police that these people are in my home. My family is in danger. If they're, I'm, you know, I'm sitting there, if you're a jury, I don't know what could further cement this along with the 911 tape. And it's interesting, we ask a lot of our jurors, and, and for the most part, they give it to us. You know, it, it's, it's sort of counterintuitive to say to jurors, don't let your emotions interfere or, or, or in some way add to your decisions. Well, of course, we always do that. And if you're the prosecutor, and judges tell them that, you have to decide this based upon the facts, not your emotion. Right. But if I'm the prosecutor in this case, and I'm looking for the death penalty, and I see my jurors breaking down in tears, mm -hmm. I'm saying essentially, okay, I'm, I'm getting to them at a level that I want to get to and them. And very quickly, any chance the defendant speaks in this case? That's a real interesting question. You might not see him testify in this part, the guilt phase, unless he wants to get on the stand and make the argument, it wasn't me, the other guy was doing everything. Right. If they get to a, a death penalty phase, probably see him say something to try to save his life. Jack Ford, thanks as always. Right. Appreciate it.